First of all, a huge thank you to everyone who subscribed. Today I decided to give back to you guys and give you guys helpful hints and tips. So today's tutorial is going to be a basic face oil painting tutorial. And also if you guys have any ideas or any tutorials in particular that you would like to see, please feel free to comment or if you have any questions in general, please comment. I'm planning on hopefully doing a schedule where, where I'll have it a new tutorial once every week or every two weeks and kind of switch around between this and my time lapse, my cinematic time lapses. So again, thank you so much. Without further ado, let's get started. So what you're going to need is a canvas, um, some medium such as Galkid, some paint thinner such as Gamsol, and you're also going to need jars that you put your mediums and paint thinner in. You're also going to need brushes, so I have a couple of flat-ended brushes, some rounded tip brushes, and then I also got some fine detail liners. Also, you're going to need a pencil to do your line drawing. I use charcoal. Some paints of different colors. I'm going to tell you guys what I used, but it will really depend on your personal painting. And of course, a palette to put all of your paints on. What I did here, the first step that I did, I did the line drawing. So I don't know if you can kind of see. It's very faded. Um, I did the line drawing with charcoal. and. When I used the charcoal, I did the charcoal, and then what I did was that I took a um, napkin and kind of just lightly went over it to make the lines not dark at all, and then went over it with a little bit of um, workable fixative just so that it would stay put and it wouldn't mix with the paint. For this particular skin tone, I used Titanium White, Flesh Tone, Raw Sienna, Raw Umber, Burnt Sienna, Mars Black, Ultramarine Violet, Anthraquinine Blue, Olive Green, and I also didn't picture it, but I also used Vermilion and Cadmium Yellow Deep. So what I did for my, my own underpainting, I did a very thinned out mix of Burnt Sienna and Raw Umber. I mixed those two together and mixed it with Gamsol. In 30 minutes, it will be completely dry and you can paint right over it. So. First, you're going to build your initial layer. So basically, you're going to look at where the darkest and the lightest areas are and just kind of put in your darkest values and your lightest and then blend it with your medium tones. Of course, it's not going to be accurate in 100% color correct. The first time around, it will take a little bit of working around and adding a few different colors before you get that skin tone that really looks realistic. Then, I worked on the eyes. So here on the eyes, I just kind of started looking at the shape. I found out that I did a, something a little bit wrong, so I went back in, erased it um, with a little Q-tip, and then just went right over it and continued painting it, and then just work on it. Look at the colors, how big is the eye, what are the shapes relative to each other, and just adjust it as you go along. There are shadows in the eye. The eyes aren't pure white. To make it more realistic, you want to make sure you add those shadows and really look at your reference picture and see where the skin folds are and what kind of shadows are cast and what are the colors of the shadows cast. Values are highly important when it comes to painting the skin. In fact, that's probably one of the trickiest parts is learning how to add value and color at the same time. So, so as I was painting, I was also dipping my brush in a little tiny bit of the Gamsol Galkid mix and that just thins out the paint. So you kind of learn how much of it you need to make it fluid but not too runny so just experiment with that as you go along as you feel that it's too dry and it won't go on um, very well add a little bit of that and see if that helps so then I just keep adding colors I look at the highlights and also the skin folds to make sure they're not too intense to make it realistic you know you're not gonna have intense um, smile lines you're not gonna really have intense skin folds or anything like that it's going to be very subtle so I just went in and I would color correct as I go, um, adding red where I see I need more red or adding blue. There are colors that you would not expect would be in a portrait that are in a portrait. Keep in mind actually that you your painting is going to look like a thousand different people before it actually looks like the person that you're trying to paint. So don't get stressed out. I know it could be a little, I still personally get stressed out sometimes, but just 
take it easy, enjoy it, and just know that as long as you have your proportions right, there's nothing to be worried about. You got everything where it needs to be. You probably just have to render it out a little more and just correct a few little tiny things before it'll really look like the person that you're trying to paint. So I'd just like to take the time to give a huge thanks to Realm XX. She let me use her picture as a painting, so a big thank you to that. She's an amazing artist. If you haven't checked out her work, you should definitely check it out. It's in the description. I put her Instagram page, so you can check that out there. She does amazing, amazing paintings. Just absolutely breathtaking. This basically concludes the face tutorial in specific. So now I'm just going into um, to do the additional things that I like to do in my painting. So here I just kind of did the hair out and then I'm also going to do like a crown um, because she's an artist. I did add a few little interesting things. So if you guys can see like the little palette, I did like a crown with the palette and then some paint brushes kind of just like sticking out. Now I'm going to give you guys a couple of tips just to keep in mind. Um, make sure that your reference picture is really high resolution. That will help so much. There will be a big difference once you start using better pictures. Um, also, use a picture with highlights and shadows. Nothing too washed out like the video in the beginning that I, I did realize that I recorded. I looked a little bit too washed out. Um, don't be afraid to trace or project lines. I grew up tracing and projecting and it honestly helped me. I think it helps muscle memory. Of course, every artist has their own opinion. You don't necessarily have to. If you want to practice line drawing um, by observation, you could definitely do that. But don't be afraid to do that. It's not cheating. And it takes a lot of practice. I've been painting people four years now and I still have a lot to learn so just make sure that you just always take it easy and think of every painting as an improvement from the last time and an opportunity to learn. Also keep in mind the fat over lean rule. I did all of this face layer all in one layer so just one sitting but you can do it in layers. I can actually demonstrate that in another tutorial if you guys are interested. Finally. The last piece of advice that I give you is that you've slowed down and really take your time. This piece took me the entire day just to do the face alone. I have all of my social media on my main channel page, you should be able to find it on there. And don't forget to check out the links in the description. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, it would mean the world to me. And finally, I can't wait to see you guys again, bye.